Hey everybody, welcome to the video about TriCut, the technical details. So we're really going to talk about how TriCut works and I'm going to explain it with colors. So you have to imagine that each of these colors is a variety uh, because it's easier to talk about colors. Um, so imagine you're a farmer and your task will be to rank three varieties. So they will have codes A, B and C and you have to indicate which one you like best and which one you don't like at all or which is the worst for you. So for example, um, your preferred order could be that you like blue, um, but you don't like black. So you would put them in this order. And that's all you have to do when you're a farmer and you work with the uh, with the tricot approach of citizen science. Of course, you can do this for different traits. So you can do this for yield, you can do this for uh, disease resistance, and then also for, uh, for your overall appreciation so it can generate a lot of data but the basic principle behind tricot is basically this so i've explained it end of the video well there's a little bit more to it so what is what is in the back of all of this how can it be that this is an appropriate way of of generating data that's what we're going to talk about so i'm going to try to explain that and this method is called tricot because it stands for triadic comparisons of technology options so imagine that we're not going to test just three varieties like the farmer does, but we are building a larger experiment. We're going to test uh, six varieties. So that means that we need to set up an experiment with these uh, six varieties, and we're going to give each of the farmers three varieties, okay, as you see on the right. And we're going to do that randomly. So we're going to pick one of these varieties uh, randomly without replacement, um, so farmers get kind of different options. Each of them gets different options and also in a different order. And they don't know the actual colors, we know, but they don't know the actual names of the varieties. So it's kind of a secret. And then uh, this is called incomplete blocks, this kind of design. So not all of the farmers see all of the varieties. They only see one part of the, of, the, of the elephant, so to say. They each fill one part of it. And together we're going to reconstruct the whole picture. So... The task for each of the participants will then be to put these uh, colors or varieties in order. So each of them gets this package, um, they get coded. So each of the, the varieties have a code and basically each of the participants tell us which one they like best and which one they like worst in terms of the letters. Okay, so the first, for example, participant could say, I like A as the best, C as kind of in the middle and B is the worst for me. And that is the type of data that we will be generating with the uh, tricot approach. So we know the kind of the original design is very important. We know some of the characteristics also of the different participants. So we know uh, whether they're male or female. Uh, we know sometimes their age, we know their farm size, lots of things, whether they produce for the market or for themselves. And all of this data can then go into our uh, statistical model. Uh, which is called the Plaquette Lose model. And what the Plaquette Lose model does is to combine all this information and give us um, statistical results about these preferences in, uh, for example, this type of format. So what you see here is the kind of uh, result that the Plaquette Lose model can generate, telling for each of the varieties whether they're better or worst on a, on a, on a scale and also giving us confidence intervals and p-values and all these things. So what we can see here is, for example, orange and blue are better, and then black and gray are uh, thought not so, to be so good by, by the participants. So in the guide that we have for the tricot process, there's this overview of the whole process. It's here on the slide. I won't go through it, but uh, I really encourage you to go uh, through it in detail so that you really understand how it works. It's, it's not magic, but almost. But it's, it's really an interesting way of organizing trials because each of the farmers uh, do only a very simple task. So these are the kind of the benefits of the approach. We generate very robust data. And also we can study variation between the participants. So who is there a difference between men and women, for example? And also this is the process that we can support with digital tools. And that makes it part of the track of the approach. Thank you.